What's up, our Nators? I'm here with another video. Make sure you slap that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's check out, do all Christians think the same? Let me turn on my light. Man, this is unfiltered, unedited, my full opinion. Y'all about to see what's going on. Let, let's go into it. Okay, here we go. Do all Christians think the same? Suggested by Wiconic. Probably not, but let's find out. Stick around till the end, enjoy the episode. If you're like, well, I wanna love who I wanna love, there's that attraction. It's like, where do you draw the line? I'm a grown man, I like little boys. That is not go the by same, how we you know. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Wait. I know you don't agree with that, this... and I know that it is the same. This conversation just threw me off. Wait, hold on, let's start this over for a minute. It's we not go the by same, how we. You know that's not the same. I know you don't agree with that, and I know that it is the same. Some Christian music is good, and some of it is lame. But that's the same <laughs> with like any kind yeah, of music. Yeah, any genre of music is so. the same way. I have to be like in a certain setting or certain mind state to listen to it. I kind of agree that some is good and some is bad, but I kind of feel like 60 to 70 percent of it is not good <laughs> or like exciting but maybe i'm kind of traumatized because i could only listen to christian music when i was a kid yeah so now i'm like yeah. that's relatable <laughs> yeah that might be a part of it okay i mean i'm gay i'm from like a little town in texas it's difficult to not. Okay, so it's crazy because a lot of Christians, like Christians that are like straight, cause believe that gay people or LGBTQ community people are not technically Christian and they can't be because it's an abomination of God. Here's my disagreement with that. I think that anyone is open in the doors of the kingdom of God. Yes. I guess there's repentance that has to be done, but to exclude them from the house entirely is insane. That seems like a controlling group of people, and, con and Christians I know shouldn't be seen as controlling group of people. It's just a belief system. So to exclude anyone in that belief system means that you're judging. And according to your, the Bible, judging is a sin. Or it's not right so if you are a Christian and you say this person is not a Christian because of their sexuality I really think that your belief system starts to fall apart there due to the fact that you are judging people based on what the word says and like I said it's just like the Declaration of Independence word gets interchangeable things have changed and it's like I don't know. In my opinion, it's a touchy subject, but I think that if your belief system says, oh, these group people are abomination, but then again, turn around and judge people, which is also wrong in your book, in the word. I think you are kind of, your belief system just falls completely apart. It, it's, it's contradictive, you know? And the only way for this belief system not to be contradictive is to understand that while in this belief system homosexuals are not allowed also understand that you can't judge them and cast them out either but at the same time like I said I'm not a Christian I'm not religious I'm agnostic I, I believe in it I have the I understand the idea and I I can believe that a higher power maybe created us I mean, if it's proven to me, but I'm not necessarily religious because, I mean, come on, it's just, it's a one in a billion chance that God exists in a way we at least think he does.
question your faith because you're told that gay people can't be Christians or Christians can only follow these certain uh, rules that are set out. So for me, when I started to grow and to get a relationship with Christianity myself is whenever my faith became stronger, but it was definitely difficult and I'm still really going through that right now. There were things that I felt like I was born knowing that God loved me and that God was good. And then when I came into the church a little bit later, there were some beliefs, um, cause I'm queer. So that people were just like, this is what it is. And you can't be this. And like, this is not da 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 da. But the reason I'm in this line is because I never felt that from God. I still felt like he loves me. Okay. Oh, what the hell? The light-skinned girl walks all the way to the end. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, my God. And then this girl's just, like, in the middle, like, I don't know what to say. This, this white girl. <laughs> when we mention support, it means to accept. And I don't accept the lifestyles within the community, but do I love them? Do I want the best for them? I absolutely do. Do I think that we should be mean to them in church? Do I think that we should shun them from church? No, and I'm sorry that you guys had that experience because that is awful, that is horrible. No one should go to a church and feel like you need to run away from it. Okay, so that makes sense, I guess. I mean, I understand from her perspective, like, it's not cool to um, cast people out based on their lifestyle or sexuality you know it's not even just gay people it's just like drug dealers all kinds of people like you don't want to exclude people due to the fact that your belief system says you should not allow these people around like it's not like that so i guess she is a good christian but she says she doesn't support it she or and to support means to accept right um, so to accept, she's saying she can accept the fact that they're homosexual. I mean, at this point, it's just like, why does it even matter? You know? I mean, what do you mean accept it? It's right in front of your faces. They are like that. What do you mean accept it? Are you meaning I can't accept it in a church? Because you just say you don't shun it from the church. I'm just saying a little, your word plays off there. It's interesting, though, because the thing that has hurt me the most is actually the language with which you're speaking, which is m more confusing, I think. No one actually shunned me. It was more like this, more like, I love you, but like God kind of wants to like send you to hell. I do have Christian friends who are queer or gay. And they're struggling, they're abstaining from the lifestyle, but the LGBTQ community says there's nothing wrong with that lifestyle. They're proud of that status, not remorseful or trying to be aligned with what the Bible says about it. You are literally picking one part of the Bible that you believe and throwing away everything else. There's like certain materials that we're not supposed to wear. There's certain foods that we're not supposed to eat, but we don't discriminate against people who do that. But we do discriminate against people who literally just love someone different. If you're gonna disagree with it, you also have to un I guess what he's trying to say is like, yeah, there's certain foods like you can't eat pork if you're Christian, you're not allowed to. It's like a thing or it's just like an unclean food or whatever. But there's people who eat it all the time, pepperoni, whatever. At this point, like if no one's went to hell, no one in history, it's never been recorded that you went to hell because you ate pepperoni. Okay. <laughs> So I don't think like being gay is gonna make you go to hell. That's just my opinion I'm just working within the rules of this belief system because I don't know much about it and I just I really don't care <laughs> Yeah, understand like the weight of what you are asking a queer person to do when you look at someone and you feel like they're attractive and you have to She's just too much. She's too much <laughs> disagree with that part of yourself every second of the day you have to tell yourself that's freaking wrong that's freaking wrong and at like every second like you don't think that i should I yeah should. dude people used to say the same thing about me like oh you play video games you're trying to be an esports guy you, you need to be outside you need to live real life you need to man shut the fuck up 
all right? Leave me alone. <laughs> like, because, like, I used to tell myself, oh, it's wrong. You're going to be lonely if you play games all your life. You're never going to get anywhere in life. You're going to be a loser. It's like this thing people are trying to get in your head. So I see this as control and manipulation using a biblical text that we don't know is backed by facts and by real consequences that we could feel and foresee it's something it, it's all these things and it's it I, frankly i'm tired of it you know <laughs> like yes she has to sit here and tell herself this is wrong that that feels like someone's invading your mind okay should not marry a woman that i love like in my opinion people can say what they want because there is a such thing as good manipulation and bad manipulation. But I feel like with religion, there's a sense of cyn cynic. What's the word? I'm a, like malicious. Well, I'm going to choose another word. Malicious intent. There's like this. Even they want you to project this image of being good that doesn't exist. That, like good and bad is subjective right of course there is a right from wrong we choose what is right from wrong like killing someone is wrong i would never do that but there's someone in the world that sees that as right i'm not what i'm trying to say basically is that christians like to make it seem like if you if your soul is not this particular way then your soul is subject to wickedness and you will be screwed like you will end up bad and doing bad things and wicked things when dude i know a lot of gay people who are perfectly better people than straight christians like they are morally better and they're gay let that sink in for a minute now a lot of people are gonna be like oh you're defending the gay community are you gay i'm not gay i just don't see the big deal <laughs> of Painting this group of people as wicked or fucked up or going to hell or abominations when you don't know if that's the truth. You just read a book that's been changed by rulers for thousands of years. King James Version is not in the original book. <laughs> I'm not saying you should be alone. I'm saying at the basis of anything, I want you to be who God created you to be. And I know that for you, you're believing that I was created this way to love this way. But I would actually wonder because you're like, well, I want to love who I want to love. There's that attraction. But when I is like, where do you draw the line when there's I'm attract I'm a grown man. I like little boys. I am a person, oh, I like, and I know girl. that you don't agree with that. Oh, no. But there are lines because that if we go by same. how we, you know, that's not the same. I know you don't agree with that, and I know that it is the same. I think the LGBT is like a huge topic within the Christian community. But she just said. She basically just said being a pedophile and being gay is the same thing. I'm going to tell you how it's not. You, she is the dumbest. She's so dumb. All right, so let me do a rundown of this. If you are with two consenting adults, gay, two gay men together of age, adults, fully consensual that is a huge difference from being a grown adult messing with young children there's come that's not the same he is right that is not the same thing in effect she said that is fucking disgusting dude she said that's the same thing that's like saying stealing a pen is the same as stealing a fucking lamborghini do you understand what I'm saying? That's like the same as stealing a, a pencil. It's the same as stealing a car. What? What is wrong with this lady, dude? That She's crazy. She basically just... So you're going to say that murdering someone is the same as fighting someone? To defend yourself? Like, are you going to say that like you're the type of person you're I'm I feel sorry for you. You're like extremist Christian. Like you're on the extreme end of Christianity. You are insane. Like the fact that she said that is insane. 
Now, people say, oh, they're both sins. Yes, they're both. Well, I mean, you, being gay is debatable as a sin. It depends on what you're... I, it, it's not really a sin. I mean, like, a sin as in, I guess, according to their book, it, they're both bad things, right? In, in their belief world, belief system, being gay and ha liking little boys are bad. But you know, there's a significant difference between both of these bad things in your belief system. You know they're messing with a little kid who has a future and will be traumatized and will be damaged because an adult touched them or whatever. It's way different than two consensual fucking adults making the same decision, communicating, being together is different than taking advantage of someone that's young, you're an adult, and there's things they shouldn't see yet. You are sick, lady. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? Jubilee. They, they, they need to cancel this channel, bro. <laughs> it doesn't make it any worse than, like, I drink and stuff, and sometimes I drink in excess, which is a sin. Um, but it just doesn't get, that's normalized, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't get attacked as frequently as, like, an LGBT would, like, community would, you know what I mean? I just define support differently. Um, I think you can completely support somebody's right to love and feel love without supporting homosexual activity. Homosexual activity is sinful. Raping a child is sinful. We can argue about what's worse or what's more acceptable or what our society has normalized, but at the end of the day, we all sin. We all sin in different ways. And none of those sins should be celebrated. None of those sins should be condoned. And all of us should be working not to change who we are, but to become more like Christ. <laughs> the Asian guy just goes over here like, uh, what book have you been reading? <laughs> you got some explaining to do yeah, over there. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great to say God loves everybody and, does, and God does love everybody, but I don't believe equally. He loves his own children more than the others in the world. He would not send someone that he loves truly to hell. He is love, that's what his embodiment is. So I think it's impossible for him to not show love towards his children. I don't think it's, there's varying degrees. I think it's all standardized against everyone. Like everyone is loved equally. I would date someone who isn't Christian. Ooh. Three, two, one, go. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The girl in the yellow shirt with the boyfriend pants and the uh, weird peacock hair dude that was just basically trying to tell the gay dude that him being gay is the same as messing around with little boys. She t you're telling me she's going to date someone who isn't Christian? What is going on? You are contradicting yourself. You are an extreme Christian, but you're telling me you want to fucking date someone who's Christian? Okay. Okay. I'll go on this one now. <laughs> I am married. I've been married for almost 10 years to a Christian man. For me, what I... Oh, feel in the Bible, I, I got it wrong. She did go to the, the side of strongly disagree. So, I guess she wouldn't think someone who's not Christian. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought she went to the side where... I, I was like about to say, well, what the fuck? Like, no. <laughs> but she's staying true. She's staying true to who she is, at least. That God describes as a Christian family is two people, husband and wife, who are devoted to serving the Lord together. And we need somebody to come alongside us who is helping us to pursue our purpose and our calling in Christ. It's totally possible and often happens that People of different religions or someone who's a Christian and that doesn't have a religion at all are able to still work together and are able to still help people grow in their faith. 
I totally agree that I could learn from non-Christians, even benefit from relationships with Muslims, Buddhists, or other non-Christians. But the Bible is specific about not being yoked in marriage to unbelievers. Whether you're a Muslim, Christian, or a Buddhist, and you find someone who doesn't share that, I think you're missing something core in that relationship, which won't work for any marriage. But the thing is, uh, when you break down so many of the major religions, a lot of the tenets are the same, and we kind of believe the same thing inherently. But that's where I disagree. I think we're very different yeah. in terms of what we believe. That we may have similar activities like going to church or a mosque, but what I personally believe about Jesus is not shared with yeah, other religions. no one else agrees 100%. with that. I wish I could be over there, but I can't. Uh, um, unfortunately, I made some bad decisions when I was younger. The people that I've been with prior, there's always a piece of me with them, you know what I mean? Like it's something I can never get back. It kind of bums me out a lot, because <laughs> it's like I wish I could have saved myself all the way until marriage um, in all aspects of physical relations. As far as sex goes, I mean, that ship already sailed, but I do think that as a Christian, I should be dating to find someone to be with long-term or finding someone to marry. And so part of that does involve sometimes waiting a little bit longer, waiting longer to like have sex and to like really be intimate. So I personally am actually not even kissing until I get engaged, which a lot of people don't believe me about, but I had a two year relationship and I promise it happened and it was hard. Strong, yeah. I didn't particularly like it, but I just find so much strength and closeness to God in reserving my physical expression of love for people. Even though it's very, very far from easy, it's something I'm so excited for. To be able to tell that person, I saved this, the most intimate part of myself for you because God was the only one who had a key to my heart before this. This is... What? I, I just like her sweet little heart like I can't even hate but like I, I, I hate to say this but in our generation nine times out of ten she's gonna end up with someone who's already had sex and who's Christian and she's gonna end up with a guy who is who knows? It could be something bad. I don't wish that on her. I'm just saying, like, it's like everyone doesn't have the luck of being able to find a relationship and it works out the first time, you know. So if she gets married to this person and it doesn't work, dude, um, let's go. Yeah, I'm not saying that I'm a good person, but I'm saved by faith in Jesus Christ who forgives me of my sin. I know where I place my faith, and that's why I know where I'm going to go. I don't know, it's hard to know exactly what specifically is considered the biggest sins that will keep someone from going to heaven, especially for me when I haven't put as much thought into it as I should. Christianity is not about just making sure you're checking off all the boxes to go to heaven. I feel like that robs us of the heaven that's present here on earth. All I'm responsible for is doing my best every day, and I pray that I do that every day, and I think that's true for everybody. Everybody is just responsible for their best. High five! <laughs> high five all around. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I could probably step on every one of these lines at a different point in my life because I grew up a Christian, but like changed so much over time. Uh, if you, that's crazy, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.